Welcome to episode 36 of Freeform Television. We're going to start today's show off with Electric Cosmonaut Toast with Let's Play Golf. This is Freeform Television. We're ready. Oh! 
Electric Cosmona Toast here on Freeform Television. They'll sound, yeah, when you're alone. Sounds you hear, infinite in tone. There are sounds you hear, you cannot explain. There are sounds you hear in the middle of the night. There are sounds you hear when you're alone. Sounds you hear when you're alone. Next up on Freeform Television, we have Peach Crate live at Randy 618.
That was Peach Crate recorded live at Rendez 618, June 1997. Next up, Burnt Toast live at the Grizzly Bear here on Freeform Television. Live at the Grizzly Bear here on Freeform Television. Where is my mother? Where is my father? Where is my heart? My heart's been broken. I'm alone. So alone forever. Step on Freeform Television, we have Aquarium Rescue Unit. I got a barrel flower, got a bucket of flour. I got chickens in the biscuit bag. I sit down in the yard, up in the hen house, down on his knees. I thought I saw, baby, baby, that chicken sneeze. Jack the Rabbit had a bad hat, don't go around here no more. Everybody knocking on my front door. Eggs in the ocean, eggs in the sea. Most of those made a fool out of me. Jack the Rabbit, Jack the Rabbit. Say, Jack, 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 Jack. Everybody knocking on my front door. So go, go, Jimmy, go, go. Go, Jimmy, go, go. go.
Unit here on Freeform Television. Next up on Freeform Television, we have a visit with the Many Mooded Man. The Many Mooded Man. What do you want? Fellas, Marv, how's it, how's the mood? I'm a little pissed off right now. Really? Well, yeah. that seems to be the problem. Well, shit. You asked me here. I didn't want to come here, you know. But my doctor and shit. Ah, the doctor said, you know, that I should come over. Well, that's cool. Uh, Marv, uh, could, you, could you share some of your feelings with us? Uh, I mean, I said, you... I'm pissed off. Okay, well, I mean, I know, I know that you like to be honest with people and straightforward, uh, and uh, you have a certain kind of depth to you. I mean, could you, could you tell us how, how you uh, achieve that emotional depth that, that, certain, that few people can find? I don't know what you're talking about. And, you know, you go, you try to just go over here to that place and to this place. And, like, things get in your way. And you just get pissed off. I mean, it's as simple as that. And, uh, I can relate to that. Hey, man, what's up? <laughs> Hey, not too much, I'm Marv. What's, good, um, what's new, Marv? <laughs> oh wow, you know, I, um, you know, I had a pretty cool uh, thing happen to me. You know, I mean, I got a job. <laughs> did you? Did you? Yeah, man. Did you, did you I'm working at this it? at this place they call the Joke Factory. You know? Joke Factory. Ah, it's that pretty neat, hilarious. man. Because like everybody always laughs at me. Oh, now that when sounds like a great place. We could all we could all stand to work in a place like that. Oh, I think yeah, that's pretty neat. You know, and the food's food's good too because it's right in the little restaurant. All right, all these cool people work there and stuff. I was thinking about getting a job there, and then I did, and it worked out really good. Oh, well, that's like it. that's just bad, Marv. I think uh, that's just great. Don't, you don't have to patronize me, man. Off it. No, really. Uh, what? Not that in particular, but no, I, was, I was wondering about people something People come else. up to me and they say, why are you wearing them glasses, man? And, that's, and they like make fun of me and say like I'm blind. Well, that's terrible. I don't, I don't think anybody should have any, any reason, really, to, to uh, behave in such a matter. Yeah, but I like my job. I gotta oh, go to good. work pretty soon. Well, yeah. actually, I just got off. I came down here, didn't I? I didn't Marv, we're like really it. happy that you did. I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, I mean, 
Hey, just uh, just the kind of person that you are. I mean, just just makes it all all worthwhile for all of us. I got a call today. Did you? Mm. My dog died. Dog died. That's that's really too bad. Huh? You really had to love that dog. I bet I bet you're really going through <laughs> some some kind of. Uh, I love that dog. You don't care though. Sure, sure, marvelous. I mean, I really want to hear. It. How did the dog die? I mean, care. What, ha what happened? We all care, Marv. We all you care. Do you guess That's what name it is? What was its name anyway? Spot. Spot. That's a beautiful name. Dog. Well, maybe you'll find a new, a new dog along the way or something. There are lots of dogs out there. Yeah, but they're quite I funny. I like dogs. That's great. Some of the dogs I see sometimes make me, like, remind me of my dog I used to have. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this, Marv, but we have a commercial break coming up, and uh, we're just going to have to cut you off right here. I mean, uh, you know, that's how it goes in this business. So, uh, well, I well, I guess we'll have to see you later, huh? Okay. Okay. Bye, Marv. See ya. That was a visit with Marvin, the many-mooded man here on Freeform Television. There's a garden with flowers in my mind. I'll take you there all in due time. The happiness of having seen you again and again can never replace the sadness now that you're gone. That went out to Freeform Television's friend Ron. That'll do it for this episode. Till next time, take it easy.